Hi, my name is Charles Luton Bryn, and I'm here in the jewelry program of the Alberta College of Art and Design in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And this segment is about how to make a chasing tool out of a screwdriver. Now, this kind of chasing tool is called a liner, and it can be used um, for fold forming. It's especially useful for fold forming. Um, but it can also be used for chasing, for making pictures, for making lines. And um, if you go to the hardware store, you can buy driver bits and screwdrivers. And with a very little bit of work, these can be converted to become useful chasing tools uh, and liners. So uh, today I've got a screwdriver here and we're going to sacrifice it. And um, I'm going to begin by cutting the shaft off of the handle. Now, if I had an angle grinder, we could use that. Uh, but today I'm going to use a grinding wheel, an ordinary grinding wheel. Uh, first of all, let's put some safety gear on. And um, so I'll get some glasses and uh, a face shield. And normally we would have this down at all times, but just in order for us to see it clearly on the video, I'm going to lift it up. But notice the double protection here. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this on, and one important thing to know about using a grinder is that um, if it's cracked, the wheel can come apart during the wind-up period. And so it's very important when you turn on a grinder, not to stand in front of it until it has reached speed and run for a few moments. Um, I had a former student who worked in a factory and he saw a piece of grinding wheel go right through someone's thigh. So um, we're a bit careful and when we turn on the grinder, we just let it run for a few moments. I'm then going to uh, cut into the steel with the grinder until I can snap this off, and then we will reshape the front end and polish it to become the chasing tool. So here I am, standing to one side, being careful, and I'm going to choose a reasonable length, which is about five inches long. And now we are going to very slowly and gently carve into the tool. Not pressing too hard. Taking our time. We don't really want the grinding wheel to wear very much. And you'll notice that my hands are braced on the tool rest at all times so that nothing's loose and floppy and able to get caught. If it gets hot, you can dip it in water. And so I'm gonna move over here and just dip this very briefly into water. So we're most of the way through at this point. If I was using an angle grinder, we would already have cut through. And once it's thin enough, I should be able to snap it. So I'm going to place it into this vise and 
snap it. So at this point, I'm going to cool it off a little bit more, grind the end a little flat, and we now have the blank ready to go to produce our chasing tool. Uh, the only other thing that I might be concerned about is making sure later on that I've heated this part until it discolors to a blue, a, um, a blue color. And that means that this will be soft so that when I hit it with a hammer, it's not going to shatter and injure me. Okay, I think we're ready for the next step over at the sanding uh, tool. We're now going to move to using the belt sander uh, to smooth uh, the front end of the chasing tool. And um, so I'm going to turn this on. It's going to be rather noisy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, bracing my hand, I'm going to very, very gently move the tool up and down without any pressure, just touching the surface like this. And that will round it off slightly. All right, here we go. about all it takes, just a tiny little touch and smooth it off and smooth to the fingers, smooth to the touch, and we're ready for the next step, which is polishing. Okay, so at this point we're ready to polish the end of the tool and I'm going to use a buffing compound called Fabuluster. Fabuluster is designed for steel, and so it does an absolutely beautiful job of shining this up and giving it a chrome-like finish. So I'm going to turn the spindle on, the motor on. I'm going to mount the buff. We'll touch it, and then I'll show you what happened. Applying the compound. And that's all it takes. That's all it takes. And now we have a beautiful finished tool ready to use for fold forming or for chasing.